Okay, here we are. Please drive to highlighted route. And the highlighted route. I'm so psyched. This has not been choreographed, but. And I haven't really led up to this too much in off grid Adirondacks or P. Kelly Adirondacks or just my plain life. But I am going out to Orlando now and my Evo V is supposed to be very, very close to completing. So I'll give you a peek at that. Um, it's been built by um, Kevin Finn of East Cape and, and Adam and all the crew there. I think Matt is the service manager. And um, I'm confident that it's turned out really nice. It is a um, an expensive, very, very expensive skiff. But uh, I think it's going to be worth it. It's got the, some of the finest options that I could find. I'm not that technical. I'm a dinosaur. But... Um, Put on some really nice electronics. Uh, the Minkota Altera self deploy. It's got Bob's jack plate, uh, Bennett trim tabs. I, I didn't uh, ramble and trailer. I didn't leave anything to chance. <clears throat> I went with the best, to my knowledge, options. So we're heading out there to take a look. Um, it's very, very exciting for me. Uh, I can't wait to get it on the water. Uh, I'm praying that the Lord would watch over myself, my family, and my property, which is going to be this new Evo V. So uh, we'll keep you posted. Okay, I am excited. Just arrived at I believe it's 110 Pieta Street in Orlando, <clears throat> the home of East Cape Boats. This factory. Hi. And I think I. Let me go. It is. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's not quite finished. Oh, it's awesome. It's alive, well, beautiful. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Wow, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. There's the buttons. What is this? Oh, okay, that's a plug. Yes.
We have the swim ladder here. Thank you, Jesus. This is going to be an amazing boat. It's going to be an amazing boat. Yes, it is. I'm going to sign out. And I'm going to get back to you. ASAP. Here we go. There's a live well. Beautiful. It's just incredible. Uh, let me see. Look at that. Look at the gutter rails on this thing. Huge. Uh, I'm gonna wipe it out real quick. But I'll get back to you in a minute. I'll show you the uh, the dash and everything. There's the black ops. The hinges. I'm not 100% with the hinges, but uh, I'm gonna do my best to keep them in line. The hinges. Uh, Escape could really be better they could uh, drill another hole and put another through bolt there uh, I don't think you with the foam I don't think you could get to the other ones now but um, it's gonna be fine I'm gonna take care of it sign it out I'm saying goodbye to my Evo V. You like teasing your boat today? That's what I was. That's like what, like nine, ten months ago? Yeah, about a year ago, yeah. I guess you found a problem with it. like it, right? Um, I owned one. Final walkthrough, I'm in Orlando, it's almost lunch, I gotta get out of here before it gets crazy. Here is the polling platform, the boat's a good week or two out, it needs uh, cushions. Needs a uh, polling platform, uh, 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 needs uh, the, uh, the uh, saw stuff that you step on. I'm going to, I'm going to attempt right now. Everybody's like, you'll never get up on that dirty word thing. Well, guess what? That's one, but I don't even know if the boat is cool. Uh, it's not too bad. And now, I feel like a drone. Woo! Uh, should I sing the song? Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Come on, get it on the Evo with me. All right. And here it is from the polling platform. And I mean to tell you, man, this is up high. I really like this platform. I told them I want the easiest one to get on top. There's the show 115. It should do just fine on this. All right. Uh, I don't want to shut this off. You know something? I feel the need. It's pretty strong. I feel a little rack in it. Not much, but uh, I'm gonna have to do the big poly, which is where I sit on this thing. I'm sitting on it here. It's got two steps here. It's got this step up here. Two steps on the other side. It's just beautiful. This boat is just, I mean, three pole holders on each side. A 
put a couple Miami Dolphins on this, see how that works out or on something. See how that goes. And uh, here's a grab rail up top. I haven't really checked this out. It's a little far from this. I usually use this grab rail to reverse camber, but I could even do it here. And then you've got the walk around here. Yes, you've got the walk around here. Now that's closed. That's got the piano hinge. And gee whiz, that feels a lot better than, I don't, that's one thing I do have a complaint about is the latches back there. That should be for a seat this long, and I know it for a fact, it should be a more heavy duty latch. But that's good enough. I'm gonna pedo it, take care of it, okay? There's my Solex 